Hi guys, welcome to another book review. So last time I um, shared a book by Ken Follett. This one is also by Ken Follett. So he tends to write these historical fiction that seem to be trilogies for whatever reason, um, or a series of books, but this one is actually a thriller that he wrote, a historical one. Um, I really enjoyed reading it. It's pretty lengthy about you know 550 ish pages um but i read it in like two weeks yeah so um it's called a dangerous fortune and i know that he's written a number of thrillers along with the other um series that he's written and he again is just really really good at pulling you in doing a lot of really cool character building talking about society of the times um and just finding a good way to weave everyone together in the same plot line and have it make sense so there is definitely um just a lot of skill that he has when it comes to all these moving parts to formulate a plot um, one of the main characters, her name is Augusta. I don't think I've ever, uh, hated a, a fictional character more. Like, I just, oh, I hated her. Um, she's a terrible person, that's why. And if you read this book, you, or have read it, you know, you know she's a terrible person. Um, yeah, and if you want to dig deeper and be like, well, it wasn't necessarily all her fault, blah, 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 blah. Whatever, she's terrible. She's a she's a bad woman. Um, I, I definitely also noticed that for whatever reason, he likes to explore the the plight of like the unmarried woman who gets knocked up, right? Like he he really just because like in the previous book that was a storyline of one of the characters it's a storyline of one of the characters in here too so there seems to be a theme now granted it, you know the time period he's writing about it kind of makes sense because it's not necessarily like a lot of women were you know career driven going to college that kind of stuff so you're very limited in scope to a certain extent of what you can explore with your female characters in this time frame um but I think he, he makes a very good, um, you know, storyline with, with her. It's not Augusta, it's a different character. Uh, Maisie, it's different. So I definitely like the different spectrum and the different classes that he showcases in his books because it does kind of offer little snippets and peaks of what's going on in different um, classes during the same time period which not a lot of authors will give you um, and I feel like for the most part it's you know pretty historically accurate so props to that because I know that can be kind of difficult um, I definitely think that there is a good appeal if you've liked um, you know yes some shows on TV like The Gilded Age, Downton Abbey, or like Agatha Christie. This is probably gonna be kind of up your alley a little bit. Um, I have to say I was kind of impressed at the end with how he kind of tied everything together and um, just kind of everything that he's written so far has really, really pulled me in. And I really am happy that I branched out and I randomly bought not the not just this book but the last uh, Ken Follett that I shared with you guys um, because he is a really good writer so I would definitely say if you like some good thrillers a little bit of mystery a little bit of society trash talk this is probably right up your alley because um, it has a nice combination of all of those things till next time